Okay, welcome to my live stream for tonight. Uh, it is about 7 p.m. here in Tokyo, and uh, tonight I thought what I'd do is I'd try and give a Tetris a shot. Somebody requested that on my channel. I uh, said, hey, could you give Tetris a try? I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. Um, I don't think we'll finish it tonight. I don't have a huge amount of time, but I think I will be able to get started and uh, have a couple ideas on how to do that. I want to try a couple new things tonight and kind of see how it goes. Um, to be honest, I, I don't really pay, play Tetris. Uh, I had a Wikipedia that sucker. Um, I'm familiar with the game. I mean, I've seen it, uh, but I don't know a lot about it. So basically, my understanding is it is blocks and they're falling and you got to line them up somehow, etc., etc. Um, so the only thing I really got out of this, uh, at least that I'll try to copy, hey, oh yeah, yeah, um, is basically, I kind of looked at it and tried to figure out how many blocks there were. Uh, I don't know if it says it here exactly, but basically it looks like it's 12 wide by uh, about 24 high. So I'm going to go with that. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. And uh, I'm going to try a couple new things tonight. I'm going to try something... I haven't done quite before, at least in none of my videos, but I have tried it before, so I'm gonna give that a shot, and I'll talk about that, it's just the way I draw things uh, here, okay? So anyway, I've got the uh, Python Turtle Graphics library, you know, reference page open. I'm gonna be using Turtle Graphics for this. Um, I have some of it memorized, but not all of it. And uh, yeah, here we go. Let's, 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 let's do it. Hey, just wanna say, say hi to, oh yeah, yeah. Oh is a common visitor, so I appreciate oh yeah yeah stopping by. I uh, hope oh yeah yeah is getting something out of this. All right, so what I want to do is, as I mentioned, I'm going to be using the turtle module. So I'm going to import the turtle module, and then I need to set up the window, uh, turtle.screen. That might make more sense to you to call it SCR, and it's up to you. Um, I just developed a habit years ago of using win. So I'm going to call it win.title, and this is going to be Tetris by at Tokyo EdTech. That's my Twitter handle, uh, where I tweet about yeah, education and computer programming, that kind of stuff. And let's see, here, here's a, let's see, that's the window. And I think, I guess I'll make the background color black. I'll say win.bg color uh, black. That's usually what I go for. And ah, what we're gonna do is we wanna do win.setup. And we wanna give it a, a size. Um, I had to look that one up though. Um, I don't quite remember how that one works. Uh, window tracer okay, pass mode setup. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna do win dot setup, and I'm gonna do width equals. I guess we'll do 800. Actually, it might be a little bit wet. But let's do 600. We'll do height equals 800. And we might have to come back and change that a little bit once we do a little bit. Uh, and then here at the very end, this has to be the last command, uh, is win.main loop. Now, as we, this keeps the window open for us. Now, as we start adding code, uh, you might get an error, especially if you're using like uh, PyCharm, where this is unreachable. Don't worry about that. You can just, you know, if you start getting that error, just hashtag that out. We, you won't need it anymore. But at this point, we do need it. So I'm going to run this, and I got a code. Wind, ah, okay. <laughs> I forgot. My, uh, as I mentioned in a previous video, um, I'm in grad school, and for some reason my well, my grad school uses Python 2, um, so I have to use Python 2. So if you're using Python 2, obviously that doesn't work. Um, so I hit F5. If you're not using Python 2 or using Python 3, uh, you probably should update. So here is my Tetris window, and I don't know if we're gonna, it's going to be big enough. I might have to make that a little bit bigger, but let's play around with that for a little bit. Um, so let's see here. If we have 12, 20, what's 20 times uh, 24? Um, so I can pull out my calculator here. Uh, 20 times 24. Okay, that's doable. All right. Okay, so the first thing when I think about Tetris um, is I think that we've got some columns and we've got some rows. Um, so I'm going to use a list. Uh, to, to store that information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new list. I'm going to call it grid uh, equals. And now watch what I do here. Uh, and there's a reason I'm doing it this specific way. Um, is I've got a grid. 
And then what I want to do is inside the grid, I want to put some rows. So I'm going to put, uh, so this will be my first row, second row, third row, etc. Now I know some of you who got a little programming experience say, hey, you could do some loops with what you're about to do. I know. Um, but what I'm going to do here is, and I'll show you why, is I'm going to put 0, 0, 0, 0. I think it was 12 wide, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And what I'm going to do is, I, I'm gonna, I guess I'll use numbers uh, to represent the colors of the blocks and things like that. Um, so I've got 24 rows, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Zeppe, Bunaziwa, Chefach. Uh, Zeppe is also a regular uh, listener slash viewer. Hey Zeppe, hope you're doing well. Um, so I'm just gonna run that and see if I get an error. Uh, make sure I did, did that fine. Invalid syntax, because this needs to be on the same row. Brilliant. Um, yes, okay. So now what I've done is I've just I decided that I'm gonna be using a list, okay? So I got a list of lists. Um, you can think of this as a 2D array to represent um, the blocks and the colors and how this is going to be working. Um, so what I need to do is I need to figure out a way to draw the grid. Okay, so I just want to do that first and get that out of the way. Um, so if, what I'm first I'm going to do is I'm going to do pen equals turtle dot turtle. So basically I'm going to be using a turtle object to draw. Uh, Super Michael, this is definitely a video tutorial. Hopefully you can see the video right now. If you guys can't see the video, please let me know. Uh, yes, uh, it is. Can't you see the video? Sorry, somebody's asking if this is going to be a video tutorial. I'm like, yeah, uh, hopefully you guys can see this. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the pen. I'm going to do pen up. Uh, that pulls the thing. I'm going to say pen.speed0. That sets it to its fastest speed. I'm going to do pen.shape. And I want this to be a square, okay, which makes it very easy to draw these blocks, which is quite nice. Um, and let's see, pen.turtle. I think that might be all we need for now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this pen object to draw everything on the screen. And Saksham Deep Singh is here. He says, use a for loop. And yes, I will. Uh, Zeppe, I am very curious to see how this works too. I don't know how it's, I don't know how it's going to work. We'll see. Um, no, no, I'm definitely, I'm definitely using loops. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely using loops. Uh, just not yet. Um, so pen shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make a a method called draw, you know, draw grid. Okay, so I'm going to say def draw grid. I'm going to put pen here and I'm put grid here. Okay. So the first thing I got to think about, okay, is so I'm going to put pass. So this lets me. So let's think about this real quick. So here is my Tetris window. Here's zero, zero. So basically I'm gonna want you know, my bottom row to be here, my next row here, my next row here, my next row here, etc., etc. Okay, so, oh yeah, 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 yeah. For making the list, no, I'm not gonna use a, a, a loop. Although I could, I could, but this you'll see why I do it this way in a second, okay? Um, so basically, I'm gonna have 12 blocks this way. Each block is 20 uh, pixels wide. Okay, I'm gonna have 12 blocks this way. Each block is 20 pixels wide. So if I do a little bit of math there, and this is just you know kind of a math process, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my calculator again. And I'll take it out of advanced mode, we don't need that. Okay, so if I've got 12 blocks this way, and they're uh, 20 pixels wide, so that's 240 pixels this way, okay? But I want it to be, well, do I want it to be centered? Yeah, I think I'm gonna want it to be centered. So I'm not sure if I wanna add 10 or subtract 10. So I'm gonna try negative 230 as my base x-coordinate. 
and Y works a little bit differently because I'm going to be starting from uh, basically from up here. So let's see the middle's here. It's 24. So 24. So try to remember negative 230. I have a bad memory. So 24 times 20 is 480. Okay. So I want. Well, it's basically the same thing because I'm going to go from zero plus. Hmm. Okay, so plus 240 plus 230 minus 230. Okay, I think the top left box here is going to be minus 230 and 230. I could be completely wrong, but let's 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 go with that. Okay, so I'm going to say is top equals 230, uh, left equals negative 230. Okay. So those are my starting x, y coordinates. Okay. So what I want to do now, hey, thanks, Super Michael. <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to go for y in range length of grid. Okay, let me explain where that comes from. Okay. So here is my grid list. Okay. It's got this row, this row, this row, this row, this row. You should have 24 rows. Now the rows start at zero. That's just the way it goes. Okay. So I want to go through every row, and that's where I get the length of the grid. Okay. X is a little more complicated. For X in range, length of grid zero. Okay. So the length, this is grid zero, this is grid one, this is grid two, etc., etc. So the length of this should be 12. Uh, but remember, it starts at zero. Um, hey, Lickle. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, screen x equals, okay, we got top and left here, equals left plus x times 20. Okay. And I could put this in parentheses to make it clearer, but this has precedence. Okay, so I chose 20 because each block is going to be 20 pixels wide. That's the default for the, the Python turtle module. I don't have to worry about that. And then screen y equals top minus because y goes you know it starts it's plus to minus so this one's plus because left to right is plus top to bottom is minus equals y times 20. okay now what I'm going to do here is if uh, grid and notice I'm putting y oops putting y comma x first it out of the usual order because we're doing it row by row equals zero say pen dot go to screen x screen y and then pen dot uh, stamp and let's say draw grid pen grid Okay, so, aha, oh yeah, yeah. Actually, I am using the same rendering method as the maze game. You, you have got a good memory. Um, so basically, yeah, this is kind of stealing that idea. All right, so I'm gonna push F5 and keep my fingers crossed. Hopefully I feel lucky today. Got an error. This indices must be integers or slices, not tuple. Okay, oh, duh. Okay, grid X and grid Y, there we go. So it's the y, so it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 24, and x is 0 through, I think, 11 in this case. So let's try it. OK. So far, so good. <laughs> Very exciting. Okay, I didn't get an error, which is a good sign, but I didn't get what I wanted out of this. Um, so here is the thing. Um, 0 is going to represent black. Uh, I think the default pen color is black. 
So what I gotta do is I have to set a color. And I'm gonna change this in a minute. Pen.color, uh, let's say green, I like green. Okay, I'm gonna try that again. Okay, well. Okay, we can see it is drawing the thing. And I was way, 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 way off. Yeah, thanks, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I got it. Um, I am way, way, way off on the math here, um, which is okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I like the, the vertical part's fine. Uh, the left part is not, because um, it should have been half the width. I didn't really think that one through. So um, but I think what I'll do, so that's gonna be minus, instead of minus 230, it's gonna be minus, uh, what, 150, 160, 170, 165. Let's try that. It doesn't matter what we use, to be honest, uh, as long as it's consistent and looks pretty good, like it's kind of in the middle. Um, and it does not look like it's in the middle, so I don't like that. But if you look at this game here, it's a little bit off-center. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try negative 100. Oh, I really want it to be centered, sorry. Uh, it's you know, OCD thing, 65, so 120. So minus 1, 110. I think that'll give us what I want. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Uh, we can move that later. That's not a big deal. Okay, so I left it on kind of a slower drawing mode because I wanted to see it work like this. Um, so the next thing I want to do is I want to pick the colors uh, that I'm going to going to use. Okay, yeah, uh, Dan the man, I will definitely post the code for this. Um, it, there's a link at the top of the chat, and I will put it. It's actually in my GitHub, and I will definitely post that. I can actually post that right now if you guys want. Um, but there's nothing in it. It's but this is the link that I'm going to be using. Um, so there you go and uh, yeah so what I gotta do is I'm gonna make a little uh, another list called colors and I'm just gonna like set it like this I'm gonna say uh, say black so this black is gonna be zero and what are the colors of Tetris um, looks like red orange yellow green light blue blue and purple okay so let's try that so we got red Let's say light blue, uh, oops, comma blue, comma orange, comma yellow. Don't don't screw up the quotes like I'm doing. Green, purple, and I already did red, didn't I? Okay. So what I can do now is I can say pen color is colors. Grid Y X. Okay, so whatever color, so in the case of zero, that's gonna be black. So if I put a one, let's, let's just test it at the bottom zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. How many colors did I make? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I don't wanna go over because I'll get an error. So and then let's go ahead and do this uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so let's go ahead and test that. Invalid syntax, pen color, yeah. Colors. Colors, that should be a left parenthesis. Okay. And I'm missing a closing parenthesis. Okay. Make sure, actually, let me, let me do it like this way. Color. Uh, color. I'm gonna put it up here. Say color equals grid y x. And let's just say hey, pen color color. Okay, because that way it just cleans up the code a little bit. Um, and what I could do here also just to make this a little bit easier. Um, let's see. Actually, oh, actually, I can do it a little bit easier. Um, I can get rid of all this stuff, most of it. That's pretty cool. Okay. Now, technically, if it's a zero, I don't have to stamp it because the background's black, and I'll fix that later if need be. But I think this will do it. So whatever the color is, goes to that, that spot, and then it stamps it. So I'll say pen. So that's a little easier than I thought it was going to be. Color. Okay, let me test that out. See what happens. Crikey. Um, pen color equals one. And color, color. 
color, oh, color, ah, colors, okay. Ah, okay, so color number equals that, and then color, and again, I, I know I can simplify this, but I like to type it out for beginners, equals colors, color, number, and then color, there we go. Yeah, well, and this is a tutorial, so, uh, I mean, it's a tutorial, but I'm actually, I'm live coding it, so that means I'm gonna be making mistakes, and I may have to end up going back and erasing things, uh, but, you know, uh, I've been doing this for a couple weeks now, and people seem to enjoy them, and I think it's good for beginners to see, uh, you know, relative beginners or even experienced people uh, know that, you know, nothing even, you know, you don't just like sit down and code everything perfectly. There's always mistakes. Um, I don't know how to do this game. I'm just kind of trying to figure it out as I go along. And I'm hoping, <laughs> hoping that I can get some kind of working version tonight uh, before I have to uh, sign off. I definitely will not finish it tonight, but what I'll do is I'll come back and, and try to finish it in a future session. Okay, so, oh, for heaven's sakes, colors, oh, duh, okay. So, again, I'm starting to make stupid mistakes because I am talking while I'm coding. Okay, so, let's try it again. Okay, so now, we don't see anything happening because it's probably drawing, it's drawing black on black. But hopefully we'll get down to the bottom and we'll see, there we go. And then we see the different colors come out, which is what we wanted to see. Okay, so there's uh, our blue. We didn't get red though, and why is that? Definitely wanted red at some point. Um, light blue, blue, orange, yellow, green. Oh, I never put red down. Duh. Uh, red. So there are seven colors. My apologies. Yeah, let's see, seven. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and try that again. Uh, yep. Yeah, thanks, Mitch. Appreciate that. There we go. Uh, so there are our, our colors. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good start. Okay, so let's see here. So what's going to be next? Um, okay, so I guess basically we got to start thinking about the pieces. Okay, um, I'm going to leave this here for now just for testing purposes. But what I want to do is to put a piece at the top of the screen and kind of go from there and see what happens. Uh, so how am I going to do that? Well, here's, here's one thing I want to try, is I'd like to try to just use one pen uh, to draw everything on the screen. This is a little bit more similar to how things like Pygame work uh, when stuff's rendered. Um, so I'm going to give this a shot and see what happens. And it might work, it might not. I don't know. So um, let's see here. Okay, so piece. So I need to I need to make a piece. Um, so this is where I don't quite know how to do all the shapes. So what I'm going to do for this exercise, at least for now, is I'm just going to draw one block. Yeah, it's going to be a long one. Uh, I don't think this is a, as easy a game as I had hoped. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to try and do this here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go. Doesn't matter where I do it at, but I'll, I'll usually I like to put it at the beginning. Say class shape. Okay. And if you're in Python 2, you probably have to put object in here, but Python 3, you don't. Um, so def init okay. self. Okay. So shapes. Okay, shapes are going to have um, an x coordinate. They're going to have a y coordinate. So self dot x and self dot y. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start every shape, okay? uh, and I'm going to use this grid, actually, uh, even though I'm going to put it above the grid a little bit. Um, well, I guess it starts at the top of the grid, so I can put it at, uh, let's see, this is 0, 0, what is this 0? Oh, this is 0, 0, okay? And then this will be uh, 23, 12. So I'm going to start it here at 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to start it here. So my shape is going to start there. So self x equals 5, self y equals 0, if that makes sense. Okay. And the update command, of course. 
And yes, I am going to use the tracer command. Uh, I'm just going to leave it on kind of slow mode just so you can see what's happening. Uh, but then, yeah, once I get it moving, we'll, we'll do that. Okay. Now, for the shape itself, um, right now what I'm going to just do is I'm just going to use, as I said, a small block. And I'm not have to worry about like the L shape, the S shape, and the Z shape, that sort of thing. And yeah, uh, and self dot color. It's gonna have a color, and just for now we'll just make we'll make we'll make it red, or I think red. No, we'll make it four, whatever that was. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to uh, I'm gonna make a new shape. I'm gonna say shape equals shape. And since I didn't put anything here, um, basically every shape is going to be the same. Okay, we'll worry about making different shapes probably in the next lesson, but for tonight we'll just do that. Okay, so I'm going to say shape. Actually, I want to say grid. Hmm. Okay, so grid shape. Y grid shape X equals shape color. Okay, so let me explain that real quick. So in my grid, so I want the shape to start in this row, which is zero, that's the Y. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. That's where I want the color to go. So what I want to do is I want to put the four into that grid. Again, I haven't thought ahead on this, so this this may be a bad approach. I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna give it a shot and see what happens. Okay. Uh, yeah. So let's let's see if that works first. And that did not work. Oh, shape is not defined. Great. Um, ah, class name should be capitalized. Okay, the other thing I screwed up here is I can't draw the grid before I actually define the shape. That was that was a rookie mistake. Okay, I'm gonna start commenting this. Uh, create the basic shape for the start of the game. Okay, and then put the shape in the in the grid. And then I'm gonna say draw the grid. Draw the initial grid. Okay, hey Dale, 10.40 a.m. It is 7.40 p.m. here, so in Tokyo, Japan. All right, so let's hear, see how, what happens. Gosh darn it, color is not defined. Okay, shape dot color. Okay, and shape dot color because I defined a shape as having a color here. And my initial shape is going to be a four. Gosh darn it! It's not the attribute shape. Uh, ah. Wow. How do I do this stuff when I'm talking? All right. Anyway, let's try that again. Oh my gosh, there it is. So four apparently is yellow, and it's going all the way down. Okay. So, hey, coding boy. Um, so basically, I guess the next step is. Well, the next step is either to move it left and right, or the next step is to have it drop. Um, so let's let's have it drop. Let's see what happens. That might be easier. Okay. So this is where we're going to start making our main game loop. Okay, main game loop. While true, and this will keep it going for good. Okay. And now this is where you might get an error here. You can comment that out because we won't need it anymore. Um, won't hurt to have it, but Pi, Pi Charm gives you an error. Um, oh, one step at a time here. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so let's see here. Uh, okay. So let's just make a section here. Move the, the shape. Okay. So think about what we want to do. Uh, when, when a shape falls in Tetris, it falls until it gets to the point where either it's at the bottom or where there's one below it and it stops. Okay, so let's try that. Let's try that. Um, so if, so we have to see what the next 
So looking at our thing here, our shape is starting at this point in the grid. So if this is a zero, I can move to the next point. Zero, 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 until it becomes, until I see this five. And then I'm gonna stop, okay? So what I gotta do is if shape dot, let's see, all right. So next, hmm, call this next, uh, hmm, cell, these are called cells, equals, and I'm gonna have to change this later when I start adding more shapes. Um, Cody, boy, yeah, I could do it sometime. Uh, Muhammad, I am using Pyth I'm using something called Genie. You can see it right up here, G-E-A-N-Y, uh, and it's, I'm using Ubuntu Linux. Thanks, oh yeah, yeah. So next cell equals shape dot y plus one. Does that make sense? Because this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, etc. Okay. So if grid, actually let's just do it like this. Uh, well, I'm going to change this a lot later anyway. But so if grid shape y plus one shape x. So same x, but y plus one equals zero. So there's nothing there. Shape dot y plus equals one. So I can add one to where the shape is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say draw the grid again. Now we're going to get, we're probably going to we're start, we're going to start some weird, see some weird things, and I'll fix that in a second. Um, pen and uh, grid. Now remember this is a very slow process, which we're going to speed up in a second. Um, but let's see what happens. Yeah, Visual Studio Code, uh, Coding Boy is awesome. Uh, I usually use that, but uh, I've been trying to use Genie instead these days. So it should draw down here, and then boom. Did it go down? Ah, no, I forgot. So I, I changed the grid shape Y here, okay? But I did not update the shape's location in the grid. So I gotta say grid shape dot Y, shape dot X. You're gonna see it's not, it's not gonna work quite what we wanted to do, but I'll fix that in a second. Shape dot color. Okay, so if the shape below, or if the, the grid below has a zero, I'm gonna go ahead and move down. Just keep going down, 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 down. Okay, so let's try that. And this is one of the reasons why I left it slow, so we can see what's going on here. Oh my, look at that. And now again, we don't see anything happening. Okay, so you see what's happening there. Now you can see that it is moving down very, very slowly. So let's fix that real quick. Okay, and this is what oh yeah yeah was talking about earlier. So I think oh yeah yeah knows what I'm going to do. So up here, under Win Setup, I'm going to type Win dot Tracer and zero. What this does is it turns off the screen updates. Okay, uh, so that we can now we can manually do it, and then what we need to do in here, in our while true loop is win dot update. Okay. Now, if you're using Pygame, there's it's something like flip or something like that. I forget exactly what it is, uh, but it's the same process essentially. Okay, so now watch this; it might go a little fast. Oops. Okay, I don't know. If you, unfortunately, I couldn't get it up. I have two screens. It really annoys me. Uh, that it does this like that. So let's let's try it one more time. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be ready this time to drag it up. Okay, you can see it going down. Now it stopped because this is no longer a zero. Okay, which is which is what we wanted. Okay. Now you, obviously you've probably seen there's an error here uh, because the the original block is still there. So bonus points for anybody that can figure out what I'm gonna do to avoid that problem. 
Uh, Penfold, I think Visual Studio Code has just a lot of really advanced features, uh, and particularly, uh, you know, the code, the code uh, completion is really advanced on that. Um, there's a ton of plugins for it. Um, Atom or Sumline are both really, really good. Uh, I find Atom to be a bit slower, uh, for sure. I think it's one of those uh, JavaScript apps. Um, I don't use Notepad++ because I am on Linux, uh, so that's my only answer for that one. So anyway, what am I going to do uh, to prevent that that yellow line? Um, so what I got to do is, if I can move, then I, I make the current grid shape dot y shape dot x equal back equal to zero. Then I add one to y, and then I update the grid. Okay. Yeah, nothing wrong with them. Nothing wrong with them, Adam boy. Adam boy? Coding boy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try and do this real quick and drag it up again. And, oh, there it goes. It's falling. Boom. How cool is that? Okay, so next thing. Let, well, there's another thing i got to do. Uh, is what about the case where it's a zero? Ugh. So I'm just going to put some zeros in there. And this is why I did it this way. Uh, because if I had the for loop, this would have been a lot harder. Um, I like nice visual things. So let's see what happens here. And it falls <laughs> right until we get an error. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is basically, if the grid shape equals zero, or shape dot y equals 23. That's the bottom row. Okay. So there's two conditions. I've got to the bottom row, or there's something in front of me. So let's try that again. And it stopped. Or it didn't. Ah, uh, no, it didn't. Um, 22. Ah, make it 22. Well, what's going to happen here? Actually, no, that's not right. We're going to get a, a different error. All right. Hmm. Why is that not working? Yeah, coding boy, this this will be on YouTube then. Ooh, yeah, Penfold, that's a good idea. Uh, to be honest, I don't know a lot about uh, Tetris, <laughs> so um, it's actually not putting it. It's not putting it above. It's putting it where it was. Um, so that's something that's got to be accounted for when we start adding the shapes. Uh, it just happens to be above uh, because that's where it's coming from the top. Why is this not working? Um, it's annoying. Uh, shape y equals twenty-two. All right, so this is this is where you kind of got to start thinking. Uh, again, if anybody has a idea, please jump in. I'm gonna print that out and just watch what's going on. Okay, so we got to twenty-three. Hmm. What am I doing wrong here? Shape y equals 22, 23. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, Mitch, what you're saying is if I'm not in the bottom row, how about this? So if grid, sorry, if shape dot y equals 23, I think that's right. This is going to be an L if. Okay. Ah, okay. I see what you're saying. You got it. I think at least. And do I need a separate case? Yeah, I can see what you're saying. Yeah. Hmm. So what am I gonna put here? Shape y does not equal twenty-three. 
So if there we go, else. So, so then we basically we're done. Does that does that do it? Not done, but does that do that? Crikey! Equal. What is that? Why is that doing that? Twenty-two. Crikey! <laughs> so then. So else. So I do. So they're trying to. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to figure out the logic here. Um, I hate when I do things like this. Shake Y. Aha. So if shape dot Y does not equal 22, or is it 23? 23. Or should I put that outside the if statement? Yeah, I, can, I, I understand why it's doing it. I'm just trying to figure out how to get it from not doing that. Crikey. And Jesus H. All right, let me think this through. That's a good question. I think I. That's a really good question. Um, one, two, z say zero. One, two, three, four. No, I don't. <laughs> Genius. Um, thanks for that. Let me count that again. Let's see here. Print. Twenty-five. So actually, maybe I did have twenty-four rows. Just bad at counting. Um, all right. So if k plus equals zero. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, crikey. I think I got it now. I got to do the the last row test first. Once it's moved. So if shape dot y equals twenty three, um, print uh, you yeah, know time for a new shape. L if okay, so we haven't done the, the new shape thing yet. F five. Okay, there we go. So it comes down and says time for a new shape. Okay, so let us make a new shape. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go shape, uh, okay, shape equals shape. So what this does is if I'm in the bottom row, it makes a new shape. So what this should do is it should just start building up a bunch of, yeah, Tetris blocks. And you can see it's slowing down. I'll, t I'll talk about how to fix that in a minute. <laughs> it gets really slow. Hi, Yanner. And it's just gotten really, it's basically going so slow it, won't even, it doesn't want to do anything now. Um, actually, no, because I don't have a uh, make a new shape here. So shape equals shape. And this will this will change a little bit later. But I know it's slowing down. So one of the things I need to do is in my draw grid is I need to type pen.clear. Okay? And what that does is it clears everything off the screen. It should speed things up, I hope. And the other one is wind, what is it? Uh, wind dot, uh, I forgot what it is. There's a thing that stops it from, because it has it has an undo, uh, it's the undo buffer. That's it. 
uh, control find undo buffer special turtle methods okay so what I do is for my pen I'm going to pen dot set undo buffer to none so that won't remember anything and it won't just start filling up memory let's try that see if that fixes it and now nothing works great um, let's try and change that to zero that didn't help and let's set that to one. Oh crikey hmm now what's going on oh duh okay it's that that line so else that's what I need to make the new shape say equal shape so basically, if there is, if I'm at the bottom row, make a new shape, and then if there's a, a space below it, go ahead and move. Otherwise, it's basically stop. So if this is not true, then I got to make a new shape. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the undo buffer thing. Um, pen that's an undo buffer to none. Let's see if that fixed it. There we go. Whoa. Now it's moving quite fast. And now it keeps starting here. It's uh, gonna do that. Okay, let's um, try and move. Let's move the. Let's move it left and right. Uh, that's probably like my next thing I'd like to tackle. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and type win dot listen, and I'm just gonna use A and D. So win dot uh, on key press, I think it is, um, and I need. I'm gonna have to put a function here. I'll get to that in a second. So a and win dot on key press. I might have to make a helper function in a second, but we'll figure that out. A D. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to move the shape left and right. Yeah, that's a good question. I'm not sure. I haven't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna add a delay here in a minute, Dean. Uh, one problem at a time, Bob. Um, so what I'm gonna try here is I'm gonna say define uh, move left self and grid. I'll explain why in a second. Pass. Say define move right self grid. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. Well, that's an interesting one. Okay, now, yeah, you'd think it would be static, but uh, you see some weird things sometimes. But um, okay, let's not do the grid thing. That's, that's just gonna cause problems. Okay. So if it's move left, so basically I'm gonna say self dot x minus equals one, and if it's move right, self dot y plus equals one. Oh, that's a problem. I do have to put the grid in there. Say grid, grid. So what I gotta do is I gotta actually delete that thing from the grid. And that's the other part. Um, so grid self dot y self dot x equals zero. Because what's going to happen is once I move it to the left, yeah, once I move it to the left, I got to make sure the the remaining spot is back to zero. And so I do have to send the grid. So I'm going to try this. I don't think it's going to work. And then I'll explain why. So it's going to be shape dot move left grid. I'm probably going to get an error. We'll find out. Shape dot move right grid. Almost certain we're getting an error. Um, oops. OK. 
Okay. Oh. <laughs> Wait, it speeds up, doesn't it? Um, no, why is that not working? Move not listen, shape dot move left grid. Shape dot move left. Okay, so I'm gonna see if this is working. So I'm gonna say print move left. This will tell me if I got to that function. Uh, print move right. So basically I'm just kind of putting that in there to see if see which part of the code is working, which part is not working. So A. Yeah, so you can see that's not working at all. Okay, what did I do wrong here? Um, drive on key press function key. Okay. Now I don't have caps lock on, I don't think. Nope. And Yeah, I think that's why it's accelerating. Um, shape move left grid. Okay, so this is where um, Python lambda, lambda example. So this is where, just because of the way that this works, we got to use something called a lambda. And I think it's pretty straightforward. I think I got to type this lambda. It works. Well, hopefully it'll work. Um, F5. There we go. Uh, move right's not working though. Why is that? Ah, the self dot uh, self dot x. Not y. Yeah, I think. Is it on key in Python 3 or is it on key press? I forget. Oh, crikey. Uh, oh. Okay. All right. Let's. Key. Well, I think press is when it's down. On key is you have to release it. Let's try that. Kind of curious. Okay, so A. Yeah, you got you got to let it go for that to work. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and actually I'm gonna change that back to on on key press. Um, if it doesn't work for you, use on key. I just don't like the way that's working. Now the only thing like I didn't I didn't do it, but you're gonna see an error here. I'm gonna I'm gonna push it if I fast it if it goes off the screen, which is not what we want. So we're gonna get an error. Okay, so basically what we gotta do is here. So is if self dot x uh, is greater than zero, then I can still move left. So if I'm at one or greater, otherwise I'll just ignore it. And in this case, if self dot y is less than, or self dot x is less than, what was it 12? So, so 11. Let's test that. And real quick, let's go ahead and import time and slow this down a little bit. Import time. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make a new little thing called delay. Zero point, I don't know, zero 0.05. Let's try 0 0.05. And then in our method here, at the end, we're going to say time.sleep delay. That'll slow the program down a bit. Maybe not as much as I want to, though. Oops. And. Okay, I can't go off the screen anymore, which is nice. That was a zero, so I can go over there. Oh, thanks, Dale. Yeah, I can see that. Good one. Thanks, Dale. Good call. Um, so let's go ahead and do that quick. So 
if that's why we do need to pass the grid okay so if grid self is greater than zero and grid self dot y self dot x minus okay this is this is the same problem we had earlier that's okay so I need two if statements if self grid self dot y grid that's oh, right self dot x and it's gonna be minus one because we're moving left it's one equals zero this is gonna have, all have to change depending on the shape unfortunately so like for right now it works with one block really easily uh, that was the one part I wasn't 100% sure how to do okay and plus one so basically this will check and see if there's something in the way okay so that's coming down Okay, good. Now I can't get through that. I can't move past that, which is nice. I can't move off the screen. That kind of disappeared. I'm not sure why. All right, well, it's kind of working. I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing here. Okay, so the next thing I want to just go ahead and try doing, um, again, I don't want to tackle the shapes thing because I know it's going to be a pain. Um, That'll be for another night. But uh, what I do want to try and do is get the grid. So if I fill this up, I'd like everything to move down. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try that uh, just for the bottom row. Okay, and I'll get to that in a second. So I'm going to say y equals, it's 23, it's the bottom row. Check if bottom row is full. Okay, uh, so how do I know if a row is full? Uh, basically, I'm going to look for if there is a zero in there or not. Jan, yeah, you're a little bit late, uh, but here's what I'll do. I'm going to go. I've just saved it. I'm going to go ahead and put that into my. I'm going to upload the uh, current version into my project folder. Um, basic working. And so you guys can kind of download that and play with it version. Um, choose the file, Tetris, open. And commit changes. And I'll put the link in here, just give me one second. I'm uploading that to GitHub right now. And projects, Tetris. Okay, and here you go, everybody. Um, put this into the chat. Uh, current uh, link current let's see code link okay there you go um, so let's check and see if the bottom row is full so if the bottom row is full what I gotta do is say find so I'm gonna say is full equals false equals true actually So I'm going to say for x in range, 0, and there's it's 12 across, so 0, 12, might be 11. Uh, it's 12, let's try 12, let's see what happens. If grid y x equals 0 is full equals false. So anytime we got a 0, we're done. At that point, we can just go ahead and break. That breaks us out of this for loop. Okay. So if is full, and this is what we want to do, is we want to move everything down. Um, so what we got to do, we got to start at 4y in range. This is a little complicated. Uh, 22. Down to negative one, come on, negative one. 
Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at this row, which is 22, copy everything down one row. Okay, so I'm gonna say is grid y minus one, y plus one, plus one, x, let's see, for x in range, 0, 12. Some of these numbers might be a little bit wrong. Uh, let's see if I see what happens when I run it. Um, x equals grid y x. So basically, I'm just going to, if it's full, if the bottom row is full, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this down, this down, this down, this down, this down. Okay, and see what happens. Kind of curious. Um, probably going to get an error. Oh, no, not yet. Okay. Oh my gosh, it worked. I'm pretty excited about this. So let me just kind of pile this up a little bit here. Okay, and then let's finish off that bottom row. Oh my gosh, the whole thing works. Hey, amazing. So yeah, so that, that's kind of working. That's kind of nice. That moves everything down. Ah, the only problem is it only checks the bottom row. That's, that's what the problem is. If I fill in the second row first, it doesn't work. Um, so basically what I gotta do is basically just put this inside of another loop. Check if each row is full. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start at the bottom row. Actually, I'm gonna call this current y. So basically, I'm going to check each row as I go up. Um, and if it's roll, new, no, it's not going to work, is it? Y equals 23. So I got to check row y equals 23, then check row equals 22. Okay. So checking row. 23. All right, so let's give some thought here. Uh, checking row 23. If it's full, I move everything down. Ah, okay. Okay. What am I going to do here? So if it's not, then I got to check the second row, the third row, blah, blah, blah. Call us copy y. Copy x. Copy y. Copy x. I don't know because I gotta I gotta copy. Oh, that part works. That's fine. Equals grid y. Copy y and copy x. Okay. So what I gotta do is. Break. Okay. While y is greater than negative one. Float is false. Uh, y minus minus equals one. Okay. I think what this is going to do. I think. Um, Uh, and this should be in range y. Okay. 
so what I just did, what I think I did, um, is I said, is full to true? I'll say, let's start with why. Uh, so basically we're looking at y here is 23. Okay. Well, y is greater than negative one, so until it gets up to here, okay, I'm going to check and see if there is a zero in this row. Okay, if there is a zero, it's not full. And then I go back and I check this row. Okay, let's say this is full. Okay, I get down to is full. Um, probably this is full might not be needed, but anyway, um, then I copy from the current y. I think this is off by one. Um, hmm. Did I copy? Hmm. This is either going to be a y or it's going to be y plus one or y minus one. So. I'm just going to play it and see what happens. Let's see if it works in the first case. Okay, that, <laughs> that worked, but then that kind of, where did that come from? Um, So I think the negative one thing was probably a little bit too far off. Y is greater than zero. Okay, let's try it again. All right, yeah, let's hope for the best here. Why is it doing that? Um, I'm not sure why it's doing that, and rather than try to figure it out, <laughs> I'm just gonna like empty that top row, I think. Um, ah, this should be zero. But try that one. Yeah, off by one errors are always a pain to try and figure out. Um, yeah, I got one that disappeared. Um, Okay, now it's working. Yeah, thanks, Dale. Dale's got it. Dale, can I can you come over here and help me with this? <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna. Now I need to test it and make sure. Actually, I'm gonna stop it and test it again. Uh, I just wanna see, cause I'm kind of late. I'm kind of a lazy person. Uh, let's go ahead and start. And let's go ahead and just copy the bunch of rows here, um, overwrite them. Okay, let's go ahead and run that. <laughs> Thanks, Dale. <laughs> okay, so here's my thing. I'm gonna go ahead and move this over. Oh, that is not what we wanted to happen. <laughs> oh, jeez. I uh, don't know why I didn't do that. Ah, okay, I don't know why I did that. All right, so, yeah, you gotta test stuff. Um, the only case where it should be checking if a row is full uh, is if you're at the bottom or if you're, you've done this. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make this into a function. And I should, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this up here, draw under draw grid, say like, uh, check grid, I guess. Def check grid and grid. Okay. And so then down here, what I want to do is I want to shape equals shape, and then I say check grid, grid. And the same thing here. So I don't want to check it. 
unless one of these cases is actually happened. And what is This is, this is it, yeah. So if it reaches the bottom, I want to check the grid. If it's still going down, I don't want to check the grid. And otherwise, I want to check the grid. Okay. So let's go ahead and try that again. Oh my gosh, it worked. Oh my gosh, it worked. Yeah, it keeps disappearing, but one problem at a time. Um, All right. All right. Let's see. The other thing I want to do now, just because I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting sick of yellow. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna import the random module. Import random, and so for my color, I'm gonna say random dot rand int uh, zero, and I think seven was the highest number. So I had to hit F5 and try this again. Ah, we don't want zero. Zero is black. We want random int one. Glad, glad that happened. Oh, yellow the first time. Great. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting some new colors. And except for the shapes, we, it's almost uh, it's almost Tetrisy. So yeah, I think that's uh, probably a good place to kind of wrap things up for the night. Um, one thing I would do want to try is I'm gonna make a new method and just say let's call it you know def like draw you know score for example. Um, Draw score uh, and pen. I think this will work. Um, so pen dot go to say zero. Uh, what was it? Say three hundred. Um, pen dot write score. Uh, format score. I know I haven't created the score yet. Uh, so we're going to go back to the turtle module, control find, write. There's a write method where you can actually draw text. And okay, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this stuff and kind of play around with that a little bit. So I want that to be font, I'm going to make it 24. And I'm going to go ahead and pen score. So what I'll do out here is I'll say, it doesn't matter where I put it, I guess. Um, as long as before the main loop, uh, set the score to zero. And then down here, draw the grid and draw score. Is that what I've called it? Um, draw the grid, check grid, draw score. Yeah. So pen comma score. Call this, you know, draw the screen. All right. Dale, that is pretty darn cool. It sounds like you've got like a really good setup there. Um, I wish I had thought of that, to be honest. Um, it, here's a quick question, Dar uh, Dale. Is the text big enough? Like, it's pretty big here where I'm at, but uh, I don't know how big it is uh, if you're kind of on a TV screen. Um, oh, set the score to zero. Score zero. Oh my gosh, there it is. Um, I have to move that. <laughs> Look at the score. Huh. Well, that's weird. Okay, I think what I have to do is for the score thing is to. Turtle 
and pin that show turtle before and after. Hey, Riot. I can get rid of that print state order I put that at. Um, print. Control find print. print. There we go. Don't need that anymore. Okay. Uh, create the drawing pen. All right. Let's just try it again. <laughs> Definitely have a P there. 128. Right. Core thing is a little bit lopsided. Uh, let's put that somewhere else. Where's the draw score at? There it is. Go to. Let's try negative 50. I don't know. Yeah, it should be a little higher, I think. Probably 350. Yes, I don't like that either. Yeah, so I'm just gonna play with the numbers here to get a little bit closer. I'm not sure why that. Uh, yeah, that that weird thing is coming up. Draw a grid. Let's try drawing score first, then drawing the grid. Draw score. There we go. A little better. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell on the video. Okay, Dale, thanks for the info. Appreciate that. Um, this the score is kind of uh, blanking. Uh, the, the write method is really slow on this hurdle module. So what we want to do is when there's a, basically when there's a score, we want to update the score. So we only want to do it once. So basically what we'll do is we'll draw the score once. Okay. And then up here if is full is true, then we'll go ahead and we'll say you know score Plus equal. I don't know. I don't know what is what a, what a row equals in Tetris, but let's just call it ten for now. Okay, so we'll add ten to the score. Ooh, that's a global variable. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, this is really bad, but we'll go ahead and do it anyway. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna say global score, so I can change that global variable, but I shouldn't do that. Um, so shh, don't tell anybody. Oh, now why is that not up there? That's annoying. Um, I have draw score here. Pen score. Don't need this because it's always going to be black and white. It's going to be black at least. Let's try that. See what happens. That's annoying. Ah, because it clears the screen. Darn it. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. All right, we're going to have to put that back and deal with that later because uh, what happens is in the draw grid method I have I have uh, cleared the cleared everything so that means I have to keep drawing that every time which is not really what it's not really ideal um, we'll fix that another time but you can kind of see how this is going so let's see if we can get some score here okay scores 10 scores 20 Again, clearly it's missing like the, you know, I should have draw a border here at some point, put that on my to-do list. Um, and can I get in there? Disappear. <laughs> Great. That's a little boo-boo. Um, okay, well, you know what? I am happy with that for tonight. It is getting a little bit late here, and I've got a very long day tomorrow. And I should be doing my uh, grad studies, but this is a lot more fun. 
Anyway, um, so I'm going to put this into my uh, GitHub. I'll put the link there again. I think the link is also in the description. And so I'm going to go ahead and upload that again. And um, let's see, what can I call this? Scoring added. And choose your file. Tetris. And I'm not 100% sure when I'll be able to get back to this. Hopefully, sometime this week or maybe even next weekend. As I said, I have, I have some grad study stuff and I've got to finish that uh, because that is uh, due. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they have no sense of humor about uh, late work, as you can imagine, and uh, which I, I can understand. I'm a teacher. Um, so yeah, so here's the link. Oops, here's the link. And again, thanks to everybody. I really appreciate you stopping by. Um, oh yeah, yeah, it's really good, but I've got to go. Uh, because I've got to get some rest. Uh, it's, getting, ow, it's getting a little bit late. Um, Dale, you are very welcome. I, I hope you guys are learning more. I hope I'm helping more than I'm hurting because uh, I do know I'm making some mistakes, but that's you know, to be expected. Um, you know, it's not something I've coded before. Again, uh, the next part is getting the shapes to work, and I'm really not 100% sure about that one. Um, so probably, I'm not going to do it tonight, but basically here's my idea. Um, yeah, self dot shape, or I'm thinking about doing it this way, making another little. Uh, how can I put it? Uh, make another little list thingy. So let's say I'm doing the um, just the horizontal shape. Uh, so it's gonna have like something like this. Actually, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Um, yeah, it's, it has multiple shapes because you can rotate them. But let's say you have something like one comma one comma one comma one, and that's the horizontal, the first horizontal shape. Uh, but then when you turn it, it's got a yeah, geez, this is a bit more complicated than I thought, of course. Um, so I'm gonna have to give, I think of some real thought to that before I come back and, and try and do the second part. But that is a good challenge for all of you guys uh, watching and girls, I hope. Um, that's a good challenge for all of you to try and uh, work on that. I think it gives something fun to do. Um, so again, thanks for stopping by. Uh, if you're not uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. Um, I do have a website. I don't update it as much as, as I do here on YouTube, but it's uh, HTTP, ooh, HTTPS, I should say. Sorry about that. And ChristianThompson.com, that is my name. And I, you can follow me on Twitter at Tokyo EdTech, where I do talk a little bit more about coding, some of this stuff, and I do stuff along the lines of uh, you know, educational stuff. That's what I do as a teacher. Okay, so that is what it looks like at the moment. I'm using the A and the D keys to move shapes. Um, it does erase rows. And yeah, it's, uh, so I guess the last step really is to add the, the, the shapes, um, which again, I think it is a challenge. Um, I haven't really figured that one out even conceptually yet. So that'll be a fun one. So anyway, stay tuned and uh, hopefully we can uh, get you guys started on that. So thanks again. Have a good night, y'all.